What is going on? Welcome to Adding Decimals, where, of course, we're going to be learning how to add decimals. So this is more of an instructional video on how to add decimals, and then we're going to follow this up with a mastery check where you see if you have it down. Um, adding decimals is very similar to just adding whole numbers. There's just one little rule involved. Actually, a couple little things. But if you have adding down and you're able to add, you'll be good with this. So the best way to learn about adding decimals is to go through some examples. So you have two options. You can either write these problems out with me or just watch this video and then try some on your own afterwards. I would suggest writing these out with me. I think that will be more beneficial than just watching, but up to you. So let's start with number one. And our first and main rule is, when we add decimals, it's in the setup here, you need to line up your decimals. And that will line up all of your place values for you, which is, an, which is the important thing when it comes to adding decimals. So this is the correct setup here. Now it looks a little offset, right? But if you watch the equivalent decimal video or you are familiar with equivalent decimals, you know you can add zeros to the right of a decimal and it does not change the value. So I'm going to put a couple of placeholder zeros here. So they both, both numbers go to the thousandths place. And it's a little more lined up and um, looks a little better when it comes to setting up this problem okay so we would be good to go with adding so now we just add 0 plus 9 9 0 plus 9 9 7 plus 8 is 15 1 plus 3 is 4 plus 2 is 6 now we need to place the decimal in the answer you can either do it as you go through the problem which I'll do in number 2 or you can do it at the end I personally like to do it as I go through the problem to make sure I don't forget it. But uh, let's do it here. And you place the decimal by bringing it straight down with adding decimals. So it would go between the 6 and 5. And our final answer would be 6 and 599 thousandths. Now, always, whenever you're working with decimals or even whole numbers, check to make sure if your answer is reasonable or if it makes sense and it only takes a couple of seconds use estimation and rounding so three and seven tenths is close to four that's the closest whole number that's what it would round to plus two and eight hundred ninety nine thousandths would round to three so i'm just going to do a quick rounding and estimation four plus three is seven so I know my answer should be close to seven. If I'm not, something's off. And my answer here is close to my estimation, very close. So I have a reasonable answer. Okay, so line up your decimals, use placeholder zeros, bring your decimals straight down, and just add. I'm gonna show you one of the main mistakes over here to the left. This is not how you do it. Add like this. Lining, just lining up your numbers like that. Your places aren't lined up, your decimals aren't lined up. If you do that, you have no chance of getting the correct answer, okay? So let's go to number two. We're gonna speed it up a little bit here. Line up your decimals. Use placeholder zeros if necessary. Do you see where you can add a placeholder zero in? Right here, so they both go to the thousandths. One, 16, 19, dot, dot, dot. Bring that decimal straight down. One plus four is five, plus nine is 14, 24, and 961 thousandths. Let's do a little bit of uh, estimation action up here. This would round to 15, and that would round to 10. 
So our answer should be close to 25 according to our estimation. And our answer right here is very close to 25. So we have a reasonable answer and we lined everything up. So we are good to go. Number three is a very important problem uh, because this is one of the main questions I get when, it when we get to adding decimals. We have a 103 here. And by now, hopefully you know, we need to line up our decimals first. Well, where does the decimal go for 103? Because I don't see one. A decimal always comes after a whole number. Every single number has a decimal. Never say 103 doesn't have a decimal. We just, we just don't put it there because it's a whole number. We don't need it. But it can have one. Put it afterwards. Now we can line up 17 and 56 hundredths. It looks a little offset there, so I'm going to put in some placeholder zeros. And now I'm good to go with adding 6, 5, dot, 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 bring it straight down, 10, 1 plus 1 is 2, and then 1. So 120 and 56 hundredths. A little estimation up here. This is already a whole number, so I'll keep it at 103. And then I'll round this to 18. And we get 121 is our estimation. And we are very close to that, so we have a reasonable answer. I'm going to do a uh, example over here of something that should set off a red flag. If you accidentally, maybe you weren't neat with the setup, or you accidentally put the decimal in the wrong place, let's say you put it between the 1 and the 2 somehow, and you get 1 and 2,056 ten thousandths. Is that anywhere near our estimation? Does that ans answer make any sense? No. So you can always check to see if an answer makes sense. It doesn't take that long. Make sure you take the time to do that. Number four, line them up. Placeholder zeros. We have our addition sign. We're ready to rock. 17, dot, dot, dot. Bring that decimal straight down. Seven plus four is 11. Six, 61 and 799 thousandths. Let's do an estimation. We have 57. I'm cramming it a little bit. Sorry about that. 57 plus 5, which equals 62, is my estimation close to my actual answer. Yes, so we have a reasonable answer. We are good to go. So that's adding decimals. Line up that decimal. Use placeholder zeros if necessary. Bring that decimal straight down in your answer, and you got it. So now it's your turn to see if you have it down. Head over to the Mastery Check, which I dropped the link for that below in the description. Um, and I'll see you over at the Mastery Check. Thanks for watching.